Good morning. Hey, what's the biggest bummer for a king? Our reading is at Jeremiah 22, verses 24 to 30. As I live, says the Lord, though Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, were the signet on my right hand, yet I would pluck you off, and I will give you into the hand of those who seek your life and into the hand of those whose face you fear, the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and the hand of the Chaldeans. So I will cast you out and your mother who bore you into another country where you were not born, and you, there you shall die. But to the land to which they desire to return, there they shall not return. Is this man, Coniah, a despised, broken idol, a vessel in which is no pleasure? Why are they cast out, he and his descendants, and cast into a land which they do not know? O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, write this man down as childless, a man who shall not prosper in his days, for none of his descendants shall prosper, sitting on the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. There's very great displeasure from heaven with King Coniah. His miserable reign is only going to last for a few months. Now, the king always wore a signet ring. That ring, he would have it there, and whenever he would make a decree, he would stamp that document with his wax seal, with his seal, and that was what went. And so that was a sign of the king's authority. And God says, even if I had to pluck the signet ring off my right hand, I'm not going to do anything for you, Coniah. Coniah is really coming up as a giant fail, and he doesn't have any, any of God's endorsement here. God is going out of his way to say, this guy is not my guy. This, this, this person is absolutely off the plan. And so this is Coniah. Could somebody even be any worse than Jehoiakim? Well, Coniah's after him, and Coniah's, maybe if it could be, worse than Jehoiakim. God would have liked to protect him, but God can't do anything for him because he's totally uh, outside of God's purpose, outside of God's will. So Israel's great protector, God himself, can't do anything for his people when they turn against him. He refuses to. Of course he does. So Kenai is going to fall into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he's going to go to Babylon, and that's where terrible things are going to happen, and then he's going to die there in Babylon. It just isn't a good thing to go against the God of heaven. Now, the prophecy is that Coniah will have no sons to reign after him in the kingdom of Judah, and he won't. You can't live in a way that's entirely separated from God and just expect God just going to just throw his blessings on out to you all the time. That's not the way it works. You know, we have our lives from God, and so we don't want to be in opposition to him. And a king, a king most of all, needs to live by God's parameters because the leaders of nations their example sets a moral tone, whether we would like to think that to be true or not. I mean, what leaders are there out there today that, that are exemplars of morality? God help us. What a desert secular ruling is today in this year, 2021. Thankfully, Jesus is our ruler. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and all the other presidents and governors and so on. Uh, that is all very temporary and almost beside totally beside the point. We want to be people of, of God's word, and he will be the one who is our ruler. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for your word. Coniah is a, a disaster for your people. How could they get worse than Jehoiakim? But I guess so. You are the one, Lord, we want to look to. We want to emulate and copy. We want to copy you. So Lord, help us to be more like Jesus. Help us to be in the word and understand what you want from us. Bless us then, Lord, as we Bring your goodness into this world in Jesus' name. Amen. So the biggest bummer for a king is to have no one to sit on the throne after him. Fortunately for you and me, Jesus, the King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus sits today on the throne of David. Our king is on the throne. Have a wonderful day in the service of our king.